Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David in Arc, and today we're going to do a overview and tutorial about the replay tool. Now, I know I've covered this before, but I've seen a lot of questions online about trying to play back a, a replay that's been recorded in the game. So, in order to get a replay at all, the first thing you're going to do is hit Alt R and that will start the replay tool. The replay tool in the game simply records everything that's going on in the game at the time it's recording. Um, and by everything, actually, I mean that a little loosely. It's, it's concentrating on the objects in the game. My camera angle, it does not care about at all. The camera angle has nothing to do with it. However, it, it's recording everything. Uh, everything else like the wheel spinning in the water, which is interesting, but that will come into play later, I'm sure. When you're done, you're going to hit Alt-R again to stop the recording of the replay. Now, once you've got it recorded, in order to play it back, you're going to need to press the Escape key, go to the UI Apps icon over on the left. From there, you're going to click the plus symbol at the top, and then for me, the easiest way to find it is to go over to the search box on the right and click in there and start to type the word replay. And then you will find the replay UI app and just double click on that and it'll add it to your screen. Now, ideally you want to move it somewhere else. So if you just go over to where it is and hold your mouse button down and drag it into position, you're good to go. Once you're happy with that, you want to click the green check box and that will have it on the screen. Now, in order to play back the replay you just recorded, click on the little folder, find your replay in the list and then click on it. At that point, it will start to play. So you can uh, hit escape or hit the drive icon in order to get rid of the menus. And right now, the replay is playing. I'm not touching anything. My hands aren't anywhere near a mouse, a keyboard, or anything else. I am watching this just as you are. But one of the things that I want you to pay attention to is that notice my camera angle right now. It is not the same one that I used when I recorded the replay. And as I mentioned before, replay does not record your camera views. It's just recording what is going on in the game, <laughs> as I mentioned before, up to and including the weird spinning wheel. Now, you'll notice that over on the right-hand side of the replay, it tells you how long the replay is. And when you get to the end of the replay, the game will automatically pause. So you can use the little slider underneath the time grid to uh, the time indicator uh, to uh, pick a particular point of time if you'd like. And once you're kind of satisfied with that, you can click the play button and you might have to click it twice. Um, but when you do, it picks up exactly in that at that point in time of the replay. Uh, you saw some weird camera stuff going on there. That was just the camera itself. I wasn't doing that at all. That's just because where the camera happened to be sitting during the replay at that moment. So uh, now that we've got the replay up and going, uh, a lot of times what you want to do is have a clean view so you can hold Alt U to hide the interface. Then you're going to press J to resume the gameplay and you might have to push J a second time. You'll notice that uh, you may have noticed the first time I hit J, the little sparklers weren't moving. So I had to hit J again. I don't know why the game does that, but that is a very common thing that I've run into. Uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But anyway, so sometimes you'll have to hit J twice to get the game to pick back up again. In the meantime, here we are again. I am using my uh, mouse to move the camera around as the gameplay is going on. Once again, I'm not actually driving at this point. It is simply the game itself replaying my replay. And just as before, when we get to the end of the replay time, everything goes to pause. I can press Alt U again to show the interface. And at that point, I am scrolling back to the beginning here. And what I want to talk about next 
is the actual RPL files. You'll notice that in the replay tool, when I've got a replay loaded up, it shows me the path to that. And so that's what we're going to talk about next. What are RPL files? Where are RPL files? And what am I supposed to do with them? So your RPL files are located in your BeamNG folder. Go to the current version. Then you'll see a replays folder and you'll notice that the replays are in there. Now, if you've got a, a video playback tool, such as I've got VLC, then you're going to notice that it's got the little VLC icon. So the, the computer thinks that an RPL is a file that can be played in VLC. But as you can see, when I try to play it in VLC, VLC is like, I don't know what you're trying to do here, but it's not a video file. And that's because it's not a video file. If I right click on this and I open this up in Notepad++, you'll notice it is full of gibberish. I mean, there's all kinds of just, you know, code that is all in here. And if I zoom in a little bit more and we scroll through here, you'll find every now and then uh, there's a line like this one where it actually is showing you some English text, in my case English, uh, where it's got pinpoints and things going on. The RPL file is not playable by a video player and it's not something you can edit. Instead, what you have to do is come back to your map, open up the replay tool, get your replay, and pause the game. Then you want to hide your interface like we did before fire up your recording software, and again, hit J to unfreeze the physics and let the replay do its thing. So right now what you're seeing is my screen recording software is recording the in-game replay. I'm using my mouse to move the camera around to different angles. As a matter of fact, um, one of the things that you can also do is you can change your camera angles. So right now I did shift C that threw me into free cam, which basically pulls the camera off of the vehicle and just lets the vehicle go. You'll notice I am just spinning the camera around. The replay is exactly the replay I recorded before. And we've now seen like, I don't know, half a dozen times through this video. I can hit uh, alt U and that will turn the uh, interface back on again. If I want the interface back on, Otherwise, once again, I'm still using my screen recording software. I've got the interface turned on in this particular case, but you know, ideally you don't want that when you're recording. So I hide the interface, I'm moving the camera around. Here goes the truck, Yahoo! I can even change the camera again to first person. Before I did free cam, now I'm just cycling through the different camera angles that are in BeamNG. So you can record your replay at multiple angles with your screen recording software, then pull that into your video editor and edit those different angles together for a really compelling, cool video. So there you go. Real quick, that's what RPL files are for Beam and G Drive. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I'm David and Ark. Have a great day.